Assuming that this was a full song and I wanted to upload it to SoundCloud, I wouldn't be able to do it using the app here on iOS. So what I need to do is find another way. So the first thing I'm gonna do is go back to my songs here. I'm gonna select and I'm gonna tap on this one and down the bottom left here, I'm gonna press the little arrow from the box and export this one as a song. Now we'll just do a high quality MP3 or M4A file this time. We're gonna hit share and this is going to now create this file. I'm gonna hit open in because what I wanna do is I wanna save this to my files app. So the first step is that we need to save a copy of this to somewhere in iCloud or on our device so that we can actually upload it. So let's go save to files and I will jump in here, we'll go to my iCloud drive. So I'm tapping iCloud drive here and let's just pop this one in my studio live today folder here. We'll hit add and that's going to put that and that is there now. So I have this here and if the SoundCloud app would behave itself, I would be able to jump into SoundCloud, hit upload and upload it, but you can't do that. So what I would ordinarily have to do is go to my PC or my Mac, transfer it over, which I've shown you in other videos how to do that, and then upload using a, the desktop browser version uh, of Chrome, Firefox, whatever you happen to use on your Mac or PC. But there is a way that we can do this from here. So in order to do this, what we actually need to do is download the Chrome browser, which I have already done here. So I'm gonna come out here and I'm gonna tap on Chrome and it's gonna open up the Google Chrome browser. So if you haven't used this before, then you can actually download this directly from the App Store. So if you go to the App Store, search for Chrome, C-H-R-O-M-E, download it and you'll be straight in here. Now I'll just close this window of this forum that I was looking at before and we'll go to a new tab. So this is what you'll be presented with. And what we need to do is we actually need to go to SoundCloud, but what I'm gonna do is go www.soundcloud.com and you can see I've been there before. Make sure you don't go to the mobile version. So you can see there it wants to send me to m.soundcloud.com. What that'll do is it'll actually pop up and open the app in your device and you do not want that. You want it to stay in the browser. I'm gonna hit go. And here we are in SoundCloud. It's still gonna promote its SoundCloud app and it's given us the mobile version, but that's okay because what we can do is in the top right corner here in Chrome, we can tap on this icon and we can go down and we can request desktop site. So we're gonna request the desktop site. You can see now it's corrected itself and it's gone to www.soundcloud.com slash stream. And here we are. Now, you'll notice that I'm in landscape mode here. And the reason I've done that on my device is right in the top right corner here, you can see a little upload icon because the way this is designed, it's not mobile optimized because it's the desktop version. I can't actually scroll across there. So I won't switch it around. But if you switch it to portrait mode, it's not gonna show that upload button, but no problem. Once you're here, then you can actually go over and go into your stats option here and you can actually do it that way. Now I'm actually already logged in here. So what I'm actually gonna do is I'm gonna log out and log back in just so that I can show you that first step. So here we are, I have gone to soundcloud.com and you can actually scroll across here at the top and sign in. So if you haven't already signed in using the browser, tap on sign in, and now you can sign in with Facebook, Google, or your email address or profile URL if that's what you use. So however you log into SoundCloud on your Mac or PC or in the mobile app, that's what you'll use here. So I'll log back in and then we'll show you how to upload. Okay, and here we are. So it will take us to our stream. So soundcloud.com slash stream. And as I was mentioning before, if you can hit the upload button like you can here, I can just hit that in the top right. If your screen is too small and you can't scroll across, all you need to do is come down here and scroll across and tap on your stats. Just tap on the word stats there and it will take you in here to this page where it shows you all about your stats. But you'll also notice that at the very top left here, we have upload. So we've got over here to our stats and now we can tap on upload and what it will do now is take us to our upload to SoundCloud screen. And as you can see, we've got a button here ready to accept a file, which as you'll know, we prepared earlier. So we'll tap on choose a file. It will ask us where we want that from. Now it's not a photo or video or photo library. It's gonna be browse because we wanna go to our files section. We tap on browse and now we just need to navigate to where we saved it. So I saved it on iCloud Drive under my Studio Live Today folder. 
And here it is, Idea Guitar Riff 2. I'm going to tap on that one. It will bring up my details here. Now let's just change this name so you can update the title to whatever you want it to be. So we can change this to whatever we want. Let's just change this one to Pete's Awesome Track because it's not really, but that's okay. Uh, and you can set your genre, you can do tags, you can describe your track, you can do all the normal things you can. You can make it public or private, depending whether you want to share it with the world or just save it for yourself to play back. And you can even update your album art image. If we tap on update image, we can take a photo, use our photo library or browse. Let's just go to my photo library. Hopefully there's nothing embarrassing in here. Um, we'll go in here. Let's use this nice picture of a beer. And there we go. So that is my album art. Obviously, you can also use anything you have in your files app as well. And then it is done. So you'll notice here at the top, it's already said, click save to post this track. So it's already uploaded it in that space of time. It was only a very small file. So you'll see that go across if it's a larger file. So we are ready to go. All we need to do now is hit save. It will say saving and there we go. It is done. It is ready to go. There it is. Ready. Click save to post a track. And there we go. We have Pete's awesome track by Pete Johns. We've got our album art there. It's private. It's all good. Okay, so I've tapped on the SoundCloud button here and I'm back to my stream. Now I'm going to tap on my name here to go to my page. And if we scroll down here, there we go. The very first track there is Pete's awesome track. And if we hit play on that one, it's going to play back my guitar riff once it's had a little think. And there you go, it's as easy as that.